Looking to buy a used car but not sure what to check for? We've all been there. The thrill of owning a car coupled with the practicality of buying used is an unbeatable combination. However, it's not without its pitfalls. A used car can be a treasure trove of value or a Pandora's box of problems. That's why a thorough check is absolutely crucial. So, buckle up, hit the ignition, and stay tuned as we dive into the detailed checklist for buying a used car. First on our checklist is the engine. Now let's dive right into the heart of the matter, the engine itself. It's the powerhouse of your car, and its condition can make or break your driving experience. When checking the engine, start by looking for leaks. Leaks can be a red flag indicating problems with the seals or gaskets. If the engine bay is as dry as a bone, that's a good sign. But remember, looks can be deceiving. So, don't just rely on a visual inspection. Feel around for any dampness, especially around the oil filter and drain plug. Next, check the oil level. An engine running on low oil is like a marathon runner with no water. It's not going to end well. The oil should be between the minimum and maximum marks on the dipstick. If it's below, it might indicate a leak or excessive oil consumption. Moving on, you'll want to inspect the head gasket. A faulty head gasket can lead to a myriad of problems, from overheating to engine failure. Look for white milky oil under the oil cap, that's a telltale sign of a blown head gasket. Lastly, start the car and observe the exhaust smoke. Blue smoke could mean oil burning, black smoke suggests an overly rich fuel mixture and white smoke might indicate coolant entering the combustion chamber. Each has its implications on the car's performance and efficiency. Remember, a healthy engine is the heart of any car. A thorough check of these areas will help ensure you're not buying a lemon. Next up, let's examine the gearbox and clutch. The gearbox and clutch are the heart and soul of your car's driving mechanics. Feeling and listening to the smoothness of the gear change can reveal a lot about a car's condition. When running through the gears, the transitions should feel seamless. If there's any resistance or grinding, it could indicate wear or damage within the gearbox. Now let's talk about the clutch. The point where the clutch begins to engage and move the car forward is known as the biting point. This should happen when the pedal is somewhere between halfway and three quarters up from the floor. If the biting point is too high, it might mean the clutch is worn and may need replacing soon. Remember, these tests are not foolproof, but they can give you a good indication of the overall health of the car's transmission system. A smooth gearbox and a responsive clutch are key to a comfortable ride. Now let's move on to the bodywork. The bodywork of a car is like its skin. It protects the inner components from the elements and ensures the vehicle maintains its structure. When checking the bodywork, we're looking for signs of rust, dents, scratches, and any discoloration that may indicate previous repairs. Don't forget to check underneath the car too, you'll be surprised by what you may find hidden there. This is where a trusty torch comes in handy. Use it to look out for signs of corrosion or damage that could compromise the car's structural integrity. A car's bodywork condition can tell a story. Fresh paint might be hiding repaired damage while rust spots could point to neglect. Remember any compromise in the bodywork can potentially affect your safety and the car's longevity. So give the bodywork the attention it deserves. Your future self will thank you. Solid bodywork ensures your safety and the car's longevity. Let's roll onto the wheels and tires. When it comes to these circular chums, we've got three main things to check. Tread depth, rubber condition, and the makes of each tire. First up, the tread depth. This is crucial for maintaining grip on the road, especially in wet conditions. The legal minimum is 1 16th of an inch but anything less than 1 8th of an inch and you're skating on thin ice, metaphorically speaking of course. Next examine the rubber condition. Look out for any signs of aging like cracks or bulges. These could lead to a flat tire or worse, a blowout at high speed. Not exactly the thrill ride you were looking for. Finally, check the makes of each tire. Consistency is key here. Having the same brand and type of tire on all four wheels ensures uniform performance and wear. Remember, good wheels and tires make for a smoother and safer ride, so keep these tips in mind and let the good times roll. Scene script. Next, we're going inside. Now let's delve into the heart of the car, the interior. This is where you'll be spending most of your time so it's crucial to make sure it's in top shape. Start with the boot. Is it spacious enough for your needs? Check for any signs of water leakage or unusual smells that could indicate hidden issues. Moving on to the dashboard, pay attention to the mileage. A lower mileage often suggests less wear and tear, however, don't let high mileage scare you away. Many modern cars can easily surpass the 100,000 mile mark with regular maintenance. Also keep an eye out for any warning lights. 
If they're illuminated even after the engine has started, it might be signaling a problem. Now let's talk electronics. In today's digital age, a car's electronics are as important as its mechanical parts. Test the radio, the air conditioning, the navigation system if there is one. And don't forget the window and seat controls. Everything should work smoothly. Why do these checks matter? Well, the state of the car's interior can tell you a lot about how the previous owner treated it. If they took the time to maintain it, chances are they also cared for the mechanical parts. A well-maintained interior indicates a well-loved car. So take your time and give it the thorough inspection it deserves. Scene script. Up next, the test drive. The test drive, it's more than just a joyride. It's your chance to get up close and personal with the vehicle, to feel how it behaves on the road, and most importantly, to uncover potential issues that may not be apparent when the car is stationary. Start with a simple question. How does the car feel? Is the ride smooth or can you feel every single bump? Is the handling responsive or does it feel like you're steering a boat? These are things that can't be inspected visually, they can only be experienced. Listen to the car. A quiet ride is generally a good sign but unusual noises are red flags. Squeaks, rattles or growls could indicate a range of problems, from worn out suspension components, to more serious engine issues. Pay attention to the brakes. They should bring the car to a smooth stop without any strange noises or vibrations. A pulling sensation during braking might suggest an issue with the brake pads or rotors. Don't forget to test the car's acceleration. A sluggish response could mean problems with the engine or transmission. Finally, keep an eye on the dashboard throughout your drive. Look out for any warning lights that might pop up. They're like the car's way of saying, hey, something's not right here. Remember, a test drive isn't just about driving. It's about connecting with the car, understanding it, and ensuring it's the right fit for you. A test drive tells you how the car feels on the road. Finally, the paperwork. Now that may not sound as exciting as revving up that engine or testing the clutch, but believe me, it's just as crucial in your car purchasing process. You see, a car's documents are like its biography, detailing its life story from the moment it rolled off the production line. So, what exactly should you be looking for? To start, you'll want the vehicle's title, which proves ownership. This should always be in the name of the person selling the car. Next, you'll want to check the vehicle's service history. This will tell you how well the car has been cared for throughout its life. If a car has a full service history, that's a good sign. Also, don't forget to look for any outstanding finance or insurance write-offs. A HPI check can reveal this information. Lastly, the vehicle's MOT certificate is a must. This proves that the car is roadworthy and safe. Proper documents ensure you're buying a legitimate and safe vehicle. So, there you have it. We've journeyed together through an essential checklist for used car buying. From the engine, where we checked for leaks, oil levels, the condition of the head gasket and exhaust smoke, to the gearbox and clutch, feeling and listening for the smoothness of the gear change and testing the clutch biting point. We've examined the bodywork both outside and underneath and scrutinized the wheels and tires ensuring the tread depth, rubber condition and make of each tire are up to par. We've also delved into the car's interior checking the boot, dash, and electronics thoroughly. Remember, the test drive is your friend. It's where you can check everything you want to. And finally, we've underscored the importance of reviewing the car's documents carefully. Each of these checks plays a crucial role in making a wise used car purchase. So, be thorough, be patient, and most importantly, be informed. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like, comment, and share. Goodbye.